got to shoot videos until the battery runs out. Is that a bad idea? I just have to be as stressed as possible tonight. And then I'll come out with a really, really good show. Look at Nashville, baby. Look at Nashville. It's so weird that I have this like completely different idea of Nashville based off of being on the balcony of uh, an apartment complex. It, I mean, it's just so cool, you know? Like, I'm, I'm always appreciating a fresh perspective, you know? It's always nice. So, there are a few people that say they're gonna make it tomorrow night. I'll be shocked if they actually come. <laughs> and that's nothing against them. It, it's just because of like how forgetful people are and uh, people are extremely inconsistent right now. Which is kind of dumb considering the fact that like comedy and art is really the only thing that stabilizes people. listening to Miles Davis for like weeks now. It feels like weeks. It might not be weeks, but it feels like weeks. But this is one of my favorite bands ever. The band we're listening to right now. They're just so fucking good, man. I feel like this song's about me. I feel that way about a lot of songs. But a lot of songs about the Tawny Hedge. There's a song, um, it's off of the album Remain in Light. It's called The Great Curve. I know that David Byrne wrote that about me. And the thing is, it was written in 1980. So somehow he predicted my existence, you know? Because I didn't exist for five more years, but he knew I was coming. 